In this video tutorial, I will explain how to pair the transmitters to the app. The second step of your Blue Command ACGM system setup involves pairing your transmitters to the app. This step has to be performed one time with the first use to allow the transmitters to communicate with the app. To complete this step, you need your installed app, the transmitters, the charger, the USB cable, and a PC with an available USB port. If you don't have a PC available, you can use a wall plug USB adapter, but refer to the user guide to see which kind of wall adapters you can use. Every transmitter has uh, an ID number written on the top side, which allows you to identify it, and uh, a PIN number written on the bottom label, needed for a secure pairing. The easiest thing to do is to take note of the ID and PIN for each of your transmitters prior to moving forward. In the quick guide, uh, there is a, a section to write this information. Otherwise, a piece of paper or a ve very, very good memory, which I don't own, uh, could do the job. Take one transmitter and place it into the charger, like this. Now, connect the USB cable to the charger and then to the PC USB port. After a few seconds, the light should turn green. If the light is flashing, it means that the battery of the transmitter is charging. The transmitter can take up to four hours maximum to fully charge. For this reason, there are two transmitters in the device kit. So that one one is running, the other can be charged. The moment the light will turn solid green, the transmitter will be fully charged and ready to use. In the app, tap on the device icon at the bottom of the screen. Tap on transmitters at the top of the screen and then tap on the plus button on Android or add a new transmitter button on uh, iOS. Press the button on the top of the charger which corresponds to the light. This should turn blue, flashing blue, which means that your transmitter is ready to pair for 60 seconds. In the app, the ID of the transmitter will appear in the list of available devices. Tap on it. You will be requested to enter the PIN. Refer to the PIN you noted in the quick guide or on a piece of paper or your marvelous memory and enter it and press pair. Now your transmitter has been paired, repeat the same procedure with your second transmitter. Even if you paired both of your transmitters, only one can be used for receiving glucose data at a time. This transmitter is indicated as active. You can see which one is the active transmitter within the devices section of the app. If you want to activate the other one, you just have to go to the device section, tap on the transmitter you want to activate and tap activate and confirm. Take care to check that you are using the active transmitter when you are starting a new session.